retrograde so i've been feeling very down so having a spiritual work day like this always uplifts my spirit and i'm sure you guys can relate to when you get to do your favorite things on a certain day of the week honestly this was probably a really bad mercury retrograde for everybody uh one of the worst that has been here in a while but definitely not the worst a lot of people were getting revealed for their true selves and it was really hurtful and just very complicated times and it's really tough for people to pull themselves out of this and it's a completely new era the stars are aligning right now for us to move and become different people all planets are working together for us to leave the past in the past and truly fully move forward so try not to let this time get you down you could try to use this time to uplift you and let the energy move through you to becoming a stronger person or more powerful person or just a new version of yourself and everybody was getting affected from this but you guys can imagine what spiritual people are going through people that are in tune with the planets and the energy so strongly getting heavily affected directly through them especially so we can teach other people about what's going on like this but as a spiritual person i don't really mind this negative chaotic energy because in my eyes it is really powerful and it is a huge breakthrough that pushes me up to the next level by the time you guys are watching this, Mercury Retrograde is over, so that was probably in the past tense that you guys were feeling this way, but now it's this new energy, and it might be a little bit unsettling, but I love a new energy. This is exactly what you guys are looking for, you know what I mean? When you look up into the future, when you see your future self, that is a different version of you. That person that you want to become, that is a different version of you, and that is not your current self, so just think about how you're living in the future now you are your future self and that's why it's a little bit uncomfortable i like to pull oracle messages in the morning to get the energy for the day and i always learn a huge thing a huge spiritual lesson for my spirit guides god in the universe whenever i'm doing this pull in the morning it really just taps into my energy and taps into my psychic self as well and allows me to see myself through the eyes of god the universe and my spirit guides which also helps me give psychic messages to others it really opens up my psychic energy as a psychic my head is always somewhere else my mind is always in a different place it's always channeling it's always learning it's always getting messages angel numbers galore i'm sure you all can imagine those angel numbers times 10 so my mind is always in a different realm so journaling i journal so much because this is what helps me ground myself like when i'm journaling i'm in the present moment i'm fully connected with myself and it is the best grounding method for myself and maybe you guys can use this method if you have trouble with always having your mind escape your body obviously i will wash my face brush my teeth in the morning i'm sure you all can relate keep a rose quartz in the mirror by the mirror to enhance that self-love and beauty energy and i'm not a gym girly but i do enjoy going to the gym every so often i always try to make it a part of my routine but it just never happens so i try to just do at least some yoga in the morning and this will help my body through the day
stay more present and stay more active. Guys, I just got this tattoo. It's so cute. I have to go get a uh, an image candle which if you don't know what an image candle is but i want to get a lover's image candle two people together a girl and a boy together so i'm gonna go to a spiritual shop i've been going to the same one but i think i'm gonna try to go to a different one because i literally bought all of the candles there and eventually i'm going to make my own image candles but for now i just get them from metaphysical shops because i feel the energy that is on the candles in the metaphysical shops are already really powerful just from being in that whole environment because most of the time it's a really powerful crystal shop out here the idea was like our, our right? yeah. this is for money and abundance oh i love that uh, and then, you know this is for power Knowledge and wisdom. I don't even know if I would want to burn that. <laughs> I know, right? I did get the image candle and it's connected at the bottom with the heart. But this is a love spell candle and I can't wait to oil it and season it. There's a little cat here. I like to put black underneath my eyes because it's like a little protection. Look at her. <laughs> it's like a protection, you know, like the evil eye jewelry. Um, it's like kind of like that except actually because it's like actually your eyes so it's a good form of protection from all evil eyes somebody say hey we want some okay now i'm all like ready i like energy and i like dance in the mirror say affirmations but i don't even try like i literally am being serious i'm like damn i'm like actually the hottest bitch ever when you guys are getting ready in the in the mirror listen to your favorite music that makes you feel amazing dance in the mirror and that's just like a simple way of uh feeling and empowered and beauty magic even so it's a thursday so i like to go live on thursdays thursday is the luckiest day of the week and the color green is also associated with Thursday, Jupiter. I like to wear this magical little shirt I have. And I find I have the most success in this lucky little shirt outfit. So let me put it on. I'm going to make some spell candles for everybody go live on tiktok and i do spells for everybody i have lots of candles healing candles money candles prosperity candles uh self-love candles cord cutting candles but everybody just wants a reunion candle okay and that is totally fine with me i get it we want communication from our past lover we want to know if there's still a chance or whatever but it's come to the point where it's a little too excessive like you're always going to think about your ex you're always going to think about a past lover or like somebody that you share such a deep connection with and spend so much time with and have such deep conversations with there's no possible way that you can just completely forget about this person okay but it doesn't mean that they're coming back tomorrow or even a year from now or even ever again and that's completely up to your you and your person if you guys want to reconcile and if your person doesn't want to then your person doesn't want to and of course, I am a tarot reader, so I do see a lot of the times that these people's exes do want to talk, but they have communication issues, and then we do a spell, and it's just like they have communication issues, 
and that sucks but it's not your job to fix it it's your job to live your life to the fullest and not wait around for a dusty but i just keep getting mad deja vu anyways it's gonna get smoky in here so i'm going to move the little planties out so they don't get smoke deprived or whatever this one is my jungle that i like to wake up to i really want to get another one on this side and then i wanted to get like a big seashell bed frame but my lease is only a year here and uh, i mean i guess i could get it because i already have to ship my bed anyways wherever i decide to move next because i'm a gypsy and i move every fucking year so i guess i could get it maybe i will soon because i feel like it would be really cute i would like to move to like an island but i've also never even been out of america and This one is a very uh, healing candle I'm making. It represents two people, two candles, two energy, two flames, and them getting brought back together um, in communication, blue candle, and cleansing, white candle. So it is for two lovers, lovers that are having some complications. So I'll put essential oils on the candles. And I like to use sage essential oil. So the string represents energy cords. I have a money candle over here. I have a beauty candle. I have a cleansing, healing candle. I have lots of different candles, but uh, most people just want love candles. So that is why I have, that's why I'm making them have the most. So I use essential oil and rosemary. So rosemary is also a really good healing herb. So this looks kind of scary, but this is where I keep all my supplies underneath my altar. They can end up looking kind of scary. Like, look at this. It's just used. It used to look like this. And then I put candles in there. So we're going to see if we can still get some uses out of these ones. Like, So I put some extra cards around for her to bring in that loving energy. I'm going to go ahead and FaceTime her and start her candle. Look at this candle. She's so curvy. She's so thick. I've also added this white candle. And I put two keys in it to represent unlocking the love in each other's heart again. <laughs> Burning their names into this candle, into the energy, send it into the portals of the universe. This one is a very sexual candle. This one is a third party removing candle. Before I go live, I'm probably just gonna make a couple TikToks while the candles are in front of me. And I try to go live twice a week if you guys ever wanna join and go ahead and follow me on TikTok as well. I always answer free yes or no questions. This is the deck I use for everybody on live. Burn a bay leaf before I start. I always do this. You guys should do this at the beginning of your days. Send me money, send me abundance, send me people I can help and heal. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start the live. so i have a spell to do it actually is a different type of candle than what i typically offer releasing that negative energy and stepping into your positive energy and cutting all the cords that is connected to the negative and this is going to be done on facetime do season and prepare the candle of course but i also set intentions into it to bless it and cleanse all the random energies from the people I did today 
and once a month i'll actually like deep clean my altar but it's just gonna get messy anyways so protection mist i made for my aura but i will spray it all over my altar and adds another cleansing and it smells good so it kind of gets rid of like if there's any smoke smells And I always like to rinse off and cleanse my aura with actual water. I noticed that this is my favorite way of actually cleansing or water cleansing. After I do all the candles for everyone because obviously it is energy work. So I just want to cleanse all of that energy.